Hi, my name is Dan from Dan's Doodles Design. Today I'm going to try and show you how to set up a custom brush on Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. So first we're going to go over to the toolbox and we're going to select the ellipse tool. And we'll just hold down shift and draw a circle. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to colour it black just by using the colour panel here. Just change that one to none, and we'll just get rid of that there. And then what we do is we select the direct selection tool, and you see how this changes it to a path. So what we're going to do is double click on the anchor point there, and then hold down shift and drag it out. So we're trying to make a, a brush shape like a traditional inking brush. So what we're going to do is now just select it. I'm just going to squash it in a bit. And we're going to pull out there and there. So it looks a bit more like ink, an ink stroke off a brush. Let's squash it down a bit more. That's a bit better. Just maybe squash it down a bit more. That's okay. So what we're going to do is select the object go to the brush panel. Now you can get the brush panel from the side here or you can go from go to window and click on brushes there to get it. So keep it selected. We go over to the little line box here and we go new brush. And we've got to click on art brush. Now we'll just call it inking brush. Now I'm using a wax component tablet. Um, because it's pressure sensitive so we'll click on pressure we're going to scale proportionately and then we're going to the method is going to be tints and shades and we click ok and there's our new brush there so we're just going to select it oops maybe not we're just going to go off it you don't need to keep this we can delete that now click on the brush there's the brush there and there's our new brush there Now what we can do is it doesn't have to be a uniformed line. We can change the line, so we can click on the top one there, and that tapers that you can see that tapers the edges or the ends of the line. So also we can change, we can vary the thickness of the line, and that's really what we want to do. Like that. Obviously we can change the thickness of make it a bit, a bit thicker like that. What I'm trying to do is, is try and replicate an inking, a proper inking brush. Now, what I like to do is, because I'm not the steadiest of hands, I like to have, if you double click on the brush, it brings up the accuracy and the smoothness of a line. So if you bring it right down, and you try drawing with it, obviously it's a bit more accurate to how you, you're drawing with on the tablet. But if you don't want it to be too accurate and nice and smooth, you can click the line up so when you draw the line, it's a nice and smooth line. My name's Dan from Dan's Doodles. Thank you very much for watching.